Carissa. I love you more than any word can describe, but you made me write some, so here they are. Now this is really hard for me because I could sit here forever and explain every single way I think you're perfect, but we don't have enough time and forever would certainly not cover it. Now I knew from the moment I laid eyes on you, I wanted to be the man that marries you, makes you happy, tucks you in, and wakes you up. The way you have provided endless love for me and support over the years through our beginning is how I know you were supposed to be with me until the end. When I first saw you, almost 10 years ago, I looked like a little boy and you looked like a supermodel. My odds of pulling a girl like you seems pretty slim, but evidently my moped full of roses was, <laughs> was irresistible. And since then I've been a firm believer in all things do happen for a reason. I do not know what our future will look like and I do not know what will happen. But I promise you, through any ups and downs that are bound to come with age, I will be there to hold your hand and never let go. I promise to never finish our goodbyes without I love you more, nor will I ever leave without a hug and a kiss. I never have, I never will. I'm blessed to have you by my side and absolutely could not imagine life without you. I vow to forever and always listen to you, no matter how long it takes for you to feel heard, <laughs> stand by you. No matter the circumstance, I will be there. Never let you fall, just push you higher. Be your day in and day out protection and love you just like I always have forever and ever. And I specified, to not kiss you yet. <laughs>today all of my dreams are coming true when we met almost 10 years ago i didn't think i would be lucky enough to be marrying you today you are my soulmate and my very best friend i knew you would be the one i shared the rest of my life with i promise to remember we are not perfect only perfect for each other I promise to choose you every day a million times over, not because I have to, but because I want to. I promise to always joke with you when life gets serious. I promise to truly enjoy all the moments we have together. I promise to stop and smell the roses and enjoy every moment with you every day. I promise to love you unconditionally, to dream with you, to build a family with you, and to encourage you. I promise to listen to you when you speak and always consider your thoughts and feelings. Lastly, I pinky promise to always love you more. The bond you have built with my family is like no other. I know there is no one else in this world. My dad would allow me to marry today other than you. And that means more to me than anyone will ever know. I can't thank you enough for making my dreams come true yesterday, today, and tomorrow. The dogs and I are so lucky to have you. There's no one else I could do life with other than you. After today, I can't wait to see where our next chapter will take us. As long as I have you by my side, I know every day will be the best day. I am honored to call you my husband and to become your wife. I love you with all of my heart until the end of our forever and ever's.
Why is sad? She's happy sad. We're very happy. Oh. <laughs> Uncle's getting married. <laughs> Probably really pretty, huh? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are gathered here today to celebrate and to witness the joining of Carissa and Anthony in marriage. As they promise to love, trust in that love, and anticipate the joy of spending the rest of their lives together, they are surrounded by us, their friends and family. Carissa and Anthony have chosen to share with us a sand ceremony but the sand in these jars is no ordinary sand. Every year during the summer, Carissa and Anthony go to the Cape, and before they do anything else, they go straight to their favorite beach and sit on a bench, a spot where they have continually fallen in love summer after summer. As these two containers of sand are poured into the third container, along with the placement of your vows, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist but will be joined together as one, and just as these grains of sand can no longer be separated, so will your marriage be. And so, in the honesty and sincerity of what you have said and done here today, and by the power vested in me by the state of Massachusetts, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Anthony, you may now kiss your bride. Of you who don't know me, my name is Zach, better known as Brood. And I am Tony's boy, best man. Sorry, <laughs> the first time I met Tony was just like every other day after school. A bunch of us would walk down to Cumberland Farms to get our 79 cent slushies. I remember standing outside when I saw him walk out of the store with a small bag of MM. Without even really knowing Tony, I asked him for a few of the MMs. He then decided it would be an even better idea to just throw them in my face. <laughs> At the time, I remember being pretty upset, but looking back now, I know that it was just his way of flirting. Carissa <laughs> Marie Cole. <laughs> That's her! <laughs> We both know how rocky we started. At first, I thought nothing of it, but then I put my guard up. I didn't think he could just fall in love the way he did. We argued about it for some time, and when he fought back with tears in his eyes, I love her. I really love her, and I need you to accept that because she's here to stay. <laughs> I knew he was serious. So although Tony and I are two years apart, I've always looked up to him as a brother. I'm so happy to be standing next to you and your beautiful bride and be a part of this amazing day. I can't sleep through the night. I got you on my mind. The sky's always on fire like the 4th of July. To be by your side, what I want to do. Oh, honey, I've got it there. Today, we toast to a new chapter of this love story, new memories we get to have, and new chaos we get to conquer as a whole family. Congratulations, guys. I love you.